Uh, I hope this one is the right way of recording. Hello, guys. Welcome to another unbiased fire alarm review. This is the 49. We're going to be reviewing the 4906-9206 True Alert Addressable Notification Appliance for mass notification. I reviewed this True Alert, the user friendly one, and these two Smart Sync True Alerts, which do the exact opposite, hence the terms, since when I called it Smart Sync. This does way worse, and I'll show you how it works and what I mean. You are asking. Like I, let, this is, like I said, an addressable device. So, since, since it has the addressable line, it completely handicaps your ability to use it. The addressable line is the biggest handicap of all the True Alerts, including the True Alert ES. You can see this is what you use to set the address. It's 1 through 8. Whatever's on and whatever's off confirms the address. There's an LED that blinks, and every time it pulls, it's communicating with the panel. That's what it means. So all addressable True Alert horn strobes and remote strobes are, including True Alert ES or 2-wire, like smart sync true alerts are. And um, and uh, the devices it's compatible with is the 4100ES with either true alert power supply, EPS power supply, or EPS plus, the 4010ES, and the 4007ES with ID NAC, the true alert addressable controller, and the, 4, and the ID NAC extenders and repeaters. So um, those are the, the devices it's compatible with. And it is multi candela so I'll pry open the, I'll pull this off so I can show you the options. No, do not lag, please. Okay, and it's lagging. Okay, now that I got, now I got the jumper out, here are your settings. Since it is a multi candela model, it is 4906 since, since the term, the designation 4906. Your, uh, your, since it won't focus, your settings are 15, 30, 75, and 110, as well as can be controlled by the panel through the ID NAC protocol. There is a little bit of a deviation on those actual light outputs because those outputs are based off a of clear lens. And Craig Baker on YouTube, uh, uh, believes that the amber lens want estimates that the amber lens units might be degraded by about 10 percent ish but i tried to figure out the percentage degrade but it won't work i tried but i couldn't find it and one of my favorite things and my favorite thing about truler addressable devices and truler es devices is that right here i think is where you is it marks the magnetic test location which is about right here, or according to the manuals and data sheets. This is no longer, this is a, this device is discontinued. It's a legacy product. You can no longer get this new. The, the replacement is the Simplex Truler ES49VOWRA-A. So the magnetic test location is operated with the self-test features with, with the 4100ES. So basically if you put out if you which allows you to which allows you to test each notification device and see which pass and failed. So if you do manual you would put a ma what you do is put a magnet to this location and it will test the device. It saves technicians time and money so that they won't have to pull a pull station and find devices that pass or fail. But they could but they still have to test each pull station to make sure they work as well. So anyways the score of this will be a 60 will be a 65 out of 100 because since it relies on addressable signaling protocols it, since it relies on an addressable line to work that's why i gave it a 65 out of 100 based on the user friendliness category because with this device your your ability to use this is completely handicapped but it's not the end of the world if you if you accidentally get this device yes because with a device that I'm not sure about, Simplex uh, guy on YouTube was, was supposed to uh, release a video about how to bypass the addressable line, which bypasses the handicap, allowing you to use this to your full potential. I wonder when he's going to upload it. I got to check in with that. But yeah. So anyways, thank you for watching.